Assalamu alaikum students, this is Hamza Noor and today we have some questions from the topic Transformations and Functions and the attempt is the most recent one, May, June 2020, paper 11, question number 4. Let's see what this question says. The diagram shows a graph of y is equal to fx where fx is equal to 3 over 2 cos 2x plus half and the domain is given uh, x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to pi. State the range of f. What we know is the amplitude of the graph and the constant term. But as we can see that this is the maximum point. This one is the maximum point. So how, how can you find this? If we put x is equal to 0 into the original equation of the curve. So 3 over 2 cos 0 plus half. Wait. 3 over 2 cos 0 plus half. So, because this point is basically the y-intercept, and y-intercept at y-axis, x is all, always equal to 0. So, 3 over 2 cos 0 plus half. This will give you value of 2. This maximum point is 2. Alright. What we know is the amplitude of the graph, and the formula for amplitude is A is equal to maximum minus minimum divided by 2. Okay. So 3 over 2 is equal to the maximum value we just found 2 minus the minimum. M is unknown. I mean, let's take it M divided by 2. So 2 and 2 are cancelled out. So 3 is equal to 2 minus M. So M is equal to 2 minus 3. M is equal to 2 minus 3. So M is equal to minus 1. So the minimum value is minus 1. So the range would be that fx is greater than equal to minus 1 and less than equal to 2. This is your range. Let's come on to the next part. A function g is such that gx is equal to fx plus k where k is a positive constant. The x-axis is a tangent to the curve y is equal to gx. State the value of k and hence describe fully the transformation that maps the curve y is equal to fx onto y is equal to gx. So k is a positive constant and k is being added after a function. So obviously this is a vertical translation, a translation in the y direction upwards because k is a positive constant. What we don't know is the value of k. But we know is but what we know is the x axis is a tangent to the curve y is equal to gx. This graph of y is equal to fx is translated in such a way that it moves upwards that it moves upwards and x axis becomes the tangent basically all right x axis becomes the tangent so this value is minus 1 so obviously we are moving one point upwards so k is equal to 1 we can say that gx is equal to fx and then plus 1 all right and describe fully the transformation that maps the curve y is equal to fx onto y is equal to gx so a vertical translation upwards by one unit vertical translation upwards by one unit or you can say or you can say uh, translation in the y direction in the y direction with vector 0 and 1 the x axis units are unchanged only a change in the y coordinates by one unit let's come on to the next one next part basically part c is saying that state the equation of the curve which is the reflection which is the reflection of y is equal to fx in the x-axis give your answer in the form y is equal to a cos 2x plus b where a and b are constants so reflection in the x-axis is basically denoted by y is equal to minus fx minus sign is being multiplied by the whole function all right so fx is equal to fx was equal to 3 over 2 cos 2x plus half. 
so y is equal to minus multiply by 3 over 2 cos 2x plus half so this will be y is equal to minus 3 over 2 cos 2x minus half you need to state this equation let's come on to the next question uh, paper 1 3 june 20 question number three is saying in each of the parts a b and c the graph shown with the solid lines has equation y is equal to fx the graph shown with broken lines is a transformation of y is equal to fx state in terms of f the equation of the graph shown with broken lines so as we can see that this is a reflection in the y-axis if this was a stretch if this was a stretch the shape would have been changed either uh, it was stretched or it was compressed okay and if this was a translation so translation would have been like this but not like this as it is shown okay in this question so this means this is a reflection and reflection obviously in the line y-axis so when you are reflecting a graph in the line y-axis so what you do is you write it like this y is equal to f and then minus x minus is being multiplied with every x value which is which is in the function y is equal to f minus x this is totally different thing than this one because y is equal to minus multiplied by fx is the reflection in the line x axis so your only answer is y is equal to f and then minus x all right <coughs> let's come on to part b state in terms of f the equation of the graph shown with the broken lines so as we can see this is not a reflection and this is not a translation because the shape is being changed shape is being changed so what we can do is first locate the original points 2 comma 1 okay the second one is 1 comma 2 and the third one is 3 comma 3 these are the original points the smooth the smooth graph basically and the dotted graph which is the image which is a transformed graph i mean image se murad meri hai ke transformed graph with the broken line so the these coordinates are being transformed to uh, 2 comma 2 the second one is being transformed to 1 comma 4 and the third one is being transformed to 3 comma 6 as we can see that the x coordinates are unchanged x coordinates are unchanged and since you know the shape of the graph is also changing so obviously obviously this is a stretch in the y direction the graph the graph is being uh, stretched in the y direction but what is the factor the y coordinates are being multiplied by 2 so 1 multiplied by 2 is giving you 2 2 multiplied by 2 is giving you 4 and 3 multiplied by 2 is giving you 6 so this means this is a stretch in the y direction with factor 2 so what would be the equation in the form of fx this would be y is equal to 2 multiplied by fx this is your answer let's come on to the last part you state in terms of f the equation of the graph shown with broken lines okay so as we can see the shape of the graph is unchanged shape is unchanged and obviously there is no reflection if this was reflection the graph the transformed graph would have been like this okay so uh, so obviously this is a translation but if this was only a horizontal translation if this was only a horizontal translation the graph would have been like this isn't it and if this was a vertical translation the graph would have been like this so obviously this definitely means that there is a combination of two translations one translation is a horizontal one the other translation is a vertical one so for example if you have f x minus a i mean a is being subtracted within a function so this means you have a horizontal translation of positive a but as you can see from this graph the horizontal points are being moved to the left hand side to the negative side so if we compare these coordinates this point 2 is going 1 2 3 4 4 units on the left hand side 
on the negative side this means this would be fx plus 4 f x plus 4 <clears throat> I mean four units are being added within a function so this is a horizontal translation with minus 4 minus 4 units or you can say a column vector of minus 4 0 okay now we are considering the vertical translation so these points are being vertically translated the downwards like one unit two units and three units below downwards so this is a vertical translation with my of minus three all right 